I seem to have this relentless pursuit of um, improving things that don't necessarily need to be improved on my particular car. Um, so as I've shown in the other videos, I installed the uh, Inno Kinetic uh, Shift R111 and the uh, Simply Sports Cars SSC shift cables not because my car was shifting particularly poorly it actually was was pretty good but i want to optimize it and make it as mechanically uh, intimate as possible so the one thing i didn't replace when i did that job that i did want to replace uh, eventually is the shift mechanism at the transmission um, there's a, a, a couple of aftermarket options. I went with one that is uh, aluminum uh, machined parts with uh, bearings and, instead of bushings. And so that's going to be the job uh, here is the installation of, uh, it's called Letzla uh, shift mechanism. Here's the new shifter. This is an impressively high quality uh, piece of equipment. You can still see the machine marks, so you know it's 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 uh, machined pieces, but the bearings are uh, very solid and and smooth. Um, and this thing is 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 extremely light as well. So there's the shift mechanism, which is the um, L-shaped bracket the piece that stays attached to the transmission so this is hard attached to the transmission and this is the other rotating bracket these are the uh, uh, ball ends for the stock um, cable shift cable mines the ssc so i don't use this i'm actually going to use the ball ends that came with the ssc kit and uh, these, these uh, screw in uh, with spacers and, and washers. Um, and then the other new piece is the, the cable uh, stay. So this is where the, um, well, we'll show it in, in the assembly, but this is uh, a bit different from the stock unit. So the stock unit, well, we'll show them side by side. I kind of just wanted to show a nice uh, aluminum quality all this stuff is um, that's a wedge to angle the, this guy correctly um, but wow the bearings are great um, so I'm excited to get this into the car uh, this would typically be a pretty easy job actually uh, the problem is that the shift mechanism is buried so here's where the shift cables come in to um, or into up to the transmission and they sit in this bracket and then uh, buried underneath all this uh, coolant uh, hose is the actual shift mechanism and what I'm going to have to do I already took the pipe that connects the um, throttle body to the air box um, that's just a, a accordion hose so you can take that out and then you can see here that there are a number of hoses that are zip tied together and that makes it kind of difficult to get into the mechanism yeah it, it, it's a it's a pretty um, crazy nest of uh, of hoses in here it's going to be kind of hard to show unfortunately because the mechanisms under all those hoses but you can hear there is some Play. This is I'm pulling up and down on the um, shift mechanism, and you can hear there's play in the uh, moving parts in the mechanism. So um, there is there is a little freedom that uh, the Wetzla is going to get rid of. As a reminder, here's the the shift uh, distance and and free play with the uh, Shift R111 and the SSC cables. So there's first, there's, there's a little play. There's always going to be a little play. Second, third, 
third has the most play because there's no stop and fourth. And then reverse, I still get this. You can hear it rubbing against the console it, before it goes into gear. And the engine's not running, so it's not going to move up, but there we go. So, so there, you know, there's a little plate. Now, I, oh, like I said, when I, when I reviewed this, it is very mechanical, it feels really good. Um, it's just, you know, my car only has, uh, about 9,000 miles on it, and so the, the mechanism was good before. Um, I, I, my conclusion was that a healthy mechanism still feels really good, so this didn't um, make a huge difference. I'm going to use a shorter uh, shift location on the Letzla, so there's uh, like five different positions you can choose from. I'm going to stay close to stock, but a little shorter than stock. Um, I actually don't mind the throws. They have an, a nice uh, feel to them with a nice weight. So I don't, I, and I've had short shifters on other cars, and they're just, if you go too short, it's it's just a lot of force to get in gear, and it's not pleasant in my mind. Um, I, I don't mind a little more throw for uh, a little less uh, of that kind of, I don't know, it's not really violent, but unpleasant level of force. So. Um, the other thing that I get, um, I got when I ch changed over to the uh, Shift R111 and the cables, is at about mm, 5500 uh, RPM, uh, there's a, a vibration noise. Um, it's not in the shift mechanism. I I've taken it apart a couple of times, tightened everything up, and made sure there isn't anything loose and, and uh, rattling around, and there definitely isn't. I think what's happening is there's vibration going on down in the transmission end, and it's getting transferred through the cables and sounds like it's coming through the transmission, but it's actually, um, or coming through the, the shifter, but it's actually at the transmission side. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that that play that is in the uh, shift mechanism on the transmission side is uh, going to, is the contributor to that, and the Letzla will take care of that. So what I'm hoping to get out of the Letzla is um, maybe an even more precise shift. Um, like I said, this is pretty good. Actually, this is really good. I, I like this, trend, this shifter. Um, and a little bit shorter. I'll, I'll go just a step shorter. Uh, so um, we'll, we'll get to the install now. Part of the process here is removing the, sh the cables from the bracket in the chassis. So the best way to make sure that those cables go to the right bracket is to label them. So I'm just going to use some uh, tape here and call one the shift and one the cross and then tape those to the uh, cables. First order of business is to pull the shift cables out of this bracket assembly. These cable, these uh, C-clips, they call them C-clips, just uh, pull out. So uh, I'll use a pair of pliers and uh, pull those out. So those C-clips pull straight out. Um, sometimes you need a pair of pliers, sometimes they'll pull up by finger. And then they should uh, pull out of bracket. Like so. Now they're loose. And then uh, the next set of next set is to remove the, so these two bolts and then uh, remove that gold bracket. There's the uh, gold bracket and the two bolts that come off. So the next step is to remove the R clips off of the transmission uh, cables. And it's kind of hard to see in there. 
Mm -hmm. You can, you know, you can kind of glimpse it right underneath the throttle body is the, that's the cross gate, and then the shift is, it's back there somewhere. But anyway, I'm going to pull off those R clips and then take the cables off. R clips removed. Um, these are the eyelets that go onto the posts. Those are the R clips. All right, next up is a replacement or removal of the bolts that are holding the shift mechanism into place. I don't know if you can kind of see one of the nuts or the bolts right there, and then there's another one behind it. So apparently those will come out. So I think we can see, let's see. Get a good angle here socket yeah, right there I, there's there's one bolt with the socket and I actually had to use a long uh, extension and then a, a breaker bar at the end because it's kind of tight so that's one and then the second one wow, it's really really hard to see in here um, yeah it's hard to hard to see but it's back there and I've got my uh, extension socket on that one also. Two gold bolts. Those are the ones that are holding the shift bracket on. So it definitely helps to have uh, small hands when doing this, but those are the two locations that are attached to the transmission. You can get them through the uh, myriad of coolant uh, hoses without actually undoing any of those zip ties. Um, this is uh, the shift cable. This is the cross gate. Um, the instructions say to uh, save this little uh, plastic protector, so make sure you, you hang on to that. And then once uh, this guy is removed from the transmission, he's loose, so you can kind of pull and play with him. But um, th this is still attached to the uh, weight, the weighted uh, uh, mechanism at the transmission through a uh, rod. So at the bottom side of that little uh, rod is a 12 millimeter nut and that washer. So you got to undo that um, and then this, this guy can come out. And I, I took him out through, basically slid him forward and, or backward towards the back of the car and then out of this kind of space. It, it pulled out okay. Actually pretty, pretty easy. Real quick, I just wanted to show the difference between these these two guys. So, uh, the bearings on this uh, uh, Letzla are super smooth and, and move really easily, but there's also no play. So, you know, you, this relative to this piece being stuck on the mounted to the transmission, there's no up and down motion in this thing. In the stock unit and this thing only has 9,000 miles on it, so it's essentially uh, good as new, if not a little worn. There is plenty of motion in, in both of these arms. So, um, how much does that contribute to play? Nah, I don't know. But, but it is a little, and uh, it may contribute to the rattling too, so I'm kind of hoping that'll get rid of... Uh, Get rid of some of that rattling that I'm getting, but yeah, you, this is this is just. I don't know if I can catch this, but this is just play. Relative motion in in the bushings that they have here. I'm going to install these little guys first on the uh, eyelets on the cables. And, and then they get screwed into the shift linkage itself. Bolts on. Uh, this guy. This guy. The next instruction says to dis partially disassemble this mechanism to get it in more easily. So uh, remove the L-shaped bracket from, from this guy. And the note is you undo this Allen screw and note the spacer. So the fat spacer on top, the skinny spacer next to the stationary bracket. So the uh, shift bracket is, is in two pieces. The L-shaped bracket goes to the shift cable. 
and uh, these are SSC cables, remember, so they're a little different from the stock cable, the attachment's a little different. Um, and blue Loctite on the, the nut uh, underneath the lever, and then blue Loctite in that thread. And now, uh, uh, I, I think this guy just slides underneath all the uh, hoses. Once the crossgate cable is uh, underneath and, and you've kind of got the bracket lined up, don't forget the little plastic slider that uh, drives the crossgate. Alright, so this is kind of blind and I hate to keep showing the same, like, impossible to see picture. Um, but, uh, it, it's all behind these stupid cables. So anyway, there's, you can kind of see my finger there, there's one of the bolts. And the other bolt is right here. So basically what you do is, after the cable is attached to the um, cross gate, fish it back through and underneath. And uh, you can line up the bracket with the two holes that mount to the transmission. The tricky part is that little plastic um, guide that sits on the, the end of the um, cross gate needs to fit in a groove in the weighted uh, uh, housing. It's The groove is underneath, and so you just kind of feel around and make sure that uh, that um, plastic piece is sitting in the groove, and then it says to move the, um, the weight back and forth just to make sure that it's sliding smoothly in the groove, and mine seems to be. So now I can uh, tighten down those 14 millimeter bolts and uh, trust me, you can't see much of what's going on, but it, you can feel most of it, and it's not that bad. All right, so the uh, uh, the, the cables are uh, attached, the L-bracket is attached, the um, weighted um, shift lever moves freely. So everything seems okay. So the next stage is to uh, attach the cable attach bracket. The cable bracket includes a wedge, and they say that the thick end of the wedge goes down. So uh, the idea is like this, and then this angles a little bit towards the transmission. Okay, cable bracket is in. It is a little bit of a knuckle buster, um, and you have to hold that wedge in place while you're getting the, the bolt in, but that uh, eventually goes in, and now the cables go into the cable guide, which last time I did this was uh, quite a chore to, to finally get that C cable in, so I'll see how it goes with the new bracket. Okay, so uh, brackets in, cables are in, uh, pushing those little C-clips in is a pain. Um, and then uh, you have to make adjustments at the shifter side as well to make sure that the shifter is all in the right place. So here's a couple of tips. It is uh, actually far easier to get the C-clips onto those cables if the... Uh, Especially the cross gate cable is disconnected at the shifter because that gives you some freedom to move that cable forward and backward. The instructions tell you to uh, tighten the eyelet all the way down and then back off five, th five turns uh, to get to the right place. Do that. Um, even if it was very uh, uh, short before, you're going to want that extra length now. Uh, another thing is the two bolts that mount the um, uh, shift mechanism to the transmission. I had to loosen those a little bit and then play with the transmission a bit to get a uh, gear shift to be loose. Um, at first there was some friction there, um, so I loosened up the bolts and, at the transmission and uh, moved the shifter around a little bit, got it loose, and then tightened it down. So you're going to want to uh, leave those a little tight while you're doing adjustment. Um, 
final adjustment do here. So uh, you'll want to uh, loosen or tighten these guys up to get the shift uh, lever in the right place on the shift R111. It's, it's, it's pretty vertical, pretty much vertical. So um, you have to make some final adjustments at the rod at this end to get that in the right place. Uh, final uh, thoughts on how, how it goes. The shifters are nice, uh, or the shifts are nice. They are uh, not noticeably shorter. They feel a little shorter, but but it's still really good. There's um, the same amount of play that there was before in the gears. So I'm going to take it out for a drive, see uh, if, if I can notice any difference.